All right, hello there. This is uh, Shang Un. Um, I wanted to put up another video. It's been a while since I put one up uh, for dominations here. Um, the last video I put up talked about glitches and uh, it got more views than others. And I think that's because more people are having glitch issues with dominations uh, than a lot of other games. Um, Today I don't really want to talk about the glitches as much as a, I guess, pathing problem with units and walls. Um, and also I want to give a trick that I've learned of how to get through walls efficiently. But I uh, just had an attack that displayed both things really well. It displayed pathing problems and it displayed... Um, ways to get through some of the more difficult walls or tricks to getting through walls. So I'm just gonna go into the attack. Um, later I actually wanna talk about managing a clan, which I've been doing now for uh, about four or five months and the clan's doing extremely well. And just ways to manage clans within dominations that are different from other games. Uh, I'll talk about that a little later. Um, this most recent attack I just had here, um, it displays a couple of the issues that the game has and uh, one of my ways of getting around it. So it's just a farming attack that I'm using my regular bombard based army. Um, you can see where the loot is stored in majority. So I'm going to be attacking... Oh, sorry. It took me out. Uh, I'll go straight back into it there. <clears throat> and hopefully it'll let me slow down a little bit. I guess there's no pause in these replays. Yet another issue that I would like them to look at. Okay, they're down to 1% uh, speed. So, one time speed. So, I'm going to come in through the walls here. I've chosen these walls to go through. There's a jumble of walls in there to get through. I put my first wall breaker in. I got all my range units out. I got all my tanks out. Now, this is where your issues come in. How do you get through this wall? You want every unit to get through it. So instead of putting your rally inside here, what I like to do is rally outside the wall, where you can see I just rallied outside the wall. It does waste a little bit of time where your units have to, even the units that were already inside the wall that come back out, but it safely gets all of my units inside, almost all. There's a couple guys going up to the north there, but that's fine. It's way better to have that many guys in uh, where I got them. Uh, I dropped a sabotage there. I, another suggestion is make sure you're sabotaging more than one building at a time if you really can. Uh, you should be getting four at a maximum, but I mean... You should definitely be using those sabotages at max efficiency. Now, I'm out of wall breakers, and uh, there's a lot of walls still to get through. There's a, a special main, main compartment here. And uh, you can see they're bashing through this wall efficiently. They got through. There's a nice gap there. Now, here's where we start to see the issues. The wall's already been broken. Why is he hitting this wall? The wall's already broken, and... There's no reason. Now he's the same unit is now pathing over here. Seemingly no rhyme or reason to it. It's what a lot of people are noticing in this game is that the units don't seem to have any reason for shooting certain walls when they do. Like this one makes sense up here. I understand why they're shooting that wall. They want to get to that building over there. Now I pathed uh, my guys up to this corner uh, because I thought it was safe, and it was. I got the catapult down, and I got this cannon down. Now, here's the ridiculousness of this game. Look at what these archers are shooting at. They're very valuable. These archers could be saving my bombards right now. Really valuable units. I have only about five uh, range guys left to protect them, and I need every one. And look, I path my guys... Over here with the rally, and they continue to shoot this wall. Absolutely no sense whatsoever to that. Up here, my bombards are dying. One by one, they're going down because these four archers, I, I call them archers, I mean just ranged defenders, 
uh, the archivistors, whatever they're called, um, are just bashing this one wall. And it's it didn't really matter in this attack, but we've all, I'm sure if you've played this game, have had attacks where you rally at a certain point, and instead of attacking the... Uh, going the most efficient way possible, or even all choosing the same wall to blow up, your ranged units will pick seven different walls and in many different directions. It's something that it's... I know it's not easy to fix for uh, Nexon. It's also used to be an issue in COC and other games, but it's really bad in this game. And I really suggest that... Early rally. I'm going to show it one more time, just the beginning of the attack, because it really is a key. And I've tried to get my clan to watch the videos and learn this technique, because it will save your attacks. The rally uh, at the entrance of where you've uh, made a wall, uh, a wall breaker go through, the gap, you need to rally outside of the gap, not through the gap, because... The hit detection is just not smart enough for that yet, and they don't path properly. So once you've made a gap in the wall, your rally needs to come outside of the wall. You don't have to do it immediately, but you can. Like, I let my guys do a little bit of damage before I did it, but you don't want to let them get too far away from it, and then you want to pop that rally. And when you pop that rally there, look, every single thing gets through. It really is the difference between getting your attack on track at the beginning or losing control and having them wasting their time shooting walls while uh, garrison units just take them out or cannons fire on them or catapults or dropping bombs on them. So I really suggest that as a technique of getting through. Uh, now I'm going to quickly talk about uh, how to properly manage a clan. Now, I've been managing this clan for about uh, four months. We are about an 80% win percentage right now. We're really solid. Um, the first thing, you have to be uh, checking constantly the donated and received amounts. Now, whether people have donated or received doesn't really matter. It's, how, it's whether they're active. You're, there's no other way in this game other than chat and seeing the donated and received numbers to really know how active people are. You can't watch replays. We can't see what each other are doing. But just by me seeing that, for example, the other leader, Egon, has 477 donated and received in a pretty short span of time, it really shows me that he's playing the game. He's on. Meanwhile, a person that I've demoted recently, Ringo, who has six donated and 12 received over the same time period, I know he's not active. I don't want to put him in wars. I don't want to get him involved in our, in our battles. You can see as we go down, there's people that are active and inactive. And I just recently cleared out the clan of most of the main inactives, so the bottom people are all new, but that's something you need to be checking. All these new people that you're adding and re removing, you need to be watching over about a two-week span maybe if they've started to donate if they haven't started to donate or received it's not only about donating if they're requesting troops that's fine it just shows that they're active you just want to see the people are active now i'll give you a quick example of a new recruit that i just saw today that um as low as he is it doesn't matter if he's got the proper base set up and he looks like he knows what he's doing those are the kind of people you want in your clan, and don't be afraid to promote them. You see, he's got his town center in the middle. He's growing the walls down here at a decent rate. He's got his catapult going as soon as he can, it looks like. He's also got his elephant uh, stable, which is an event going on right now. He's growing at a solid rate. He clearly is trying to play the game well. This is a person I'm going to be looking for to promote. Uh, I'm going to put him in a war as soon as I can, um, and I'm going to give him a chance to prove that he's active and wants to become a war uh, character. Now, you also, in your wars, I'll show you our most recent war, and I'll show you somebody I chose to sit, um, and it was a tough decision. 
Uh, our most recent war that we just had, oh, I'm not sure I can actually show you now because the results are down. Uh, I'll have to show that in another time. This is our current war that we're in right now. Um, here's, here's how I, I, I set the <coughs> attack strategy each time. Now, this one looks like an interesting war. I haven't even looked at it yet. Uh, I go to my own base first. Now, I am shang -un. I'm ninth on our list, which is... I'm surprised. I keep dropping down because other people are getting stronger and stronger, which is great, though. It just means that the clan's growing. Now, what I do is I look for my straight across. Straight across means I am nine. I look for their number nine. I scout the number nine. Now, if the number nine looks like a base that I can handle and probably get a four or five star on confidently, then what like this one is very simple. I look first a level three hero, a hero castle on the outside, an easy path to the town center through the south. This is a five star for me. I can get a five star in this almost 100%. I know then that if they're straight across, is an easy five or four star for me that I can call for a five star across the board. It's not a guarantee that everybody will do well straight across, but I'm pretty confident that, that most of us will be able to get three, four or five stars with that first attack. And that's really crucial. If I saw this base and it was too strong for me, I'd look at the next one. And then I would go down the list until I found one that I think is a four or five star for myself. And I would call for, the most I've gone down is two down, and it's very rare that we ever go two down. We generally go straight across, almost always. But I, we do go one down every once in a while, and we have gone two down. And it has worked. It has won the wars for us. It's been the difference. Having that first attack be a value attack is incredibly important to winning wars. So that's just a little tip. Um, you really need to be able to evaluate bases pretty quickly on the fly. And also, don't be afraid to ask how people feel about their straight across. If it's too difficult, allow people to swap bases to one person to change with another who might be higher up to help them out. You need to be able to adapt and, uh, and change up on the fly. So hopefully those tips will help you. I mean, I'm going to have more videos coming up soon because I am going through an age change. I've been inactive recently because I've been bored with using bombards only. Uh, I'm going to get into some new units now, Gatling guns, saboteurs, things like that that I'll be able to produce in the factory with oil. Uh, and once I have those, I'll put up some more videos to get people more updated. But uh, keep enjoying the game. The game keeps improving. I'm... I, I love the game because we've got a clan that's just absolutely kicking butt. Um, really friendly people, really helpful people, and we keep winning. So it's really made the game more fun for me. Uh, where COC I find is the wars have become less fun. In this game, I live for the wars. So uh, that's it for now, and I uh, hope you enjoyed.